Understanding Bass Heavy in Music and Sound. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English learning series. Today, we'll dive into a term you might have heard in conversations about music and sound systems, bass heavy. We're going to break down what it means, where you can hear it, and how to use it in a sentence. So if you're ready to add some new vocabulary to your English repertoire, let's get started. When we describe something as bass heavy, we are referring to a type of sound or music that has a strong emphasis on the lower frequencies. The word bass relates to the lower end of the musical scale, where you find deeper tones that you often feel as vibrations through your body or see thumping speakers moving to. But why should you care about this term? Well, bass heavy can be a crucial descriptor when talking about certain genres of music like hip hop, EDM, electronic dance music, or action-packed movie soundtracks, where the thud 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 of bass is a key component of the experience. To give you a clearer picture, let's talk about some examples where you might encounter a bass-heavy sound. Imagine you're at a concert, and the drum beat is so powerful that you can feel it thumping in your chest. Or perhaps you're in a car with a custom sound system, and when the music plays, the bass is so loud that it overwhelms the melody and lyrics. Bass-heavy sound isn't limited to music only, it's also a common term used to describe home theater systems, headphones, and even some smartphone speakers that are designed to enhance low-frequency sounds, making movies and games feel more immersive. Now let's see how to use bass heavy in a sentence to make sure you sound like a native speaker. You could say, I prefer bass heavy headphones for listening to electronic music. Or, the club had a bass heavy sound system which made the dance floor vibrant. It's also common to hear someone comment on the balance of sound by saying, the soundtrack of that movie was too bass heavy for my taste, indicating that the prominence of bass overshadowed other sounds. And that wraps up our exploration of the phrase, bass heavy. We hope you found this video helpful and that you're now more confident in using this term to describe music and sound experiences in English. Keep practicing, and soon you'll be enriching your conversations with vibrant new words like a pro. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.